Konnichiwa minasan, I am Nelly and welcome to Beauty and Food or welcome back to Beauty and Food. Right now, we are at the tranquil neighborhood of Hardamas and then my introduction haven't given it away yet. We are actually visiting a Japanese store today and I'm so excited because I love Japanese food. So where we are is actually called Kokoro Konse. Okay, the word Konse. This is also a convenience store, hence the beautiful selection of convenience food. If you're into cooking instant food like quick, easy and delicious, they actually have packets of curry root. And they also have a lot of nice instant ramen with beautiful illustrations on it. And not only that, they also have a lot of different different snacks. So there's like chocolate snacks, there's peanuts. So let's go check it out guys. My food is here and I'm very excited. <laughs> but it's really big. So this is actually a sharing platter and this is really good for people coming in groups because instead of ordering like a la carte, like one, one tempura, one sushi, which will cost more, you can order this platter so it's value for money, you know? So starting with this, I'm gonna start with the salmon first, I mean, because it's raw salmon, right? And there's ice, so before it uncools itself, I'm gonna have a try first. Okay. Before I even touch the sauce, I'm just gonna say the salmon is really nice. There's another fish we have on this beautiful platter, and this is grilled saba fish. It's right behind these broccoli, and there's like a crisp layer of skin on top. Then give this a try. Mm. We have an inari here. There's crab stick. There's octopus, and I love octopus. And down here, there's unagi as well. So, I'm just gonna take one bite. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, moving on to the octopus. Okay. This octopus is fresh. It is not tough at all. So this is the piece of unagi I have right here. mushroom so just dip it into the sauce okay and don't be intimidated by how dark the sauce looks because trust me it's not gonna be too salty this is just for tempura okay mm. karage is a lot like popcorn chicken and like popcorn chicken it has a very crunchy exterior again and the inside is so warm and nice and soft and it's juicy let me tell you this it is small but it is juicy Mm -hmm. So, so far, everything is great. So overall, this is really good. I would give this a 9 out of 10. So now that I'm done with my review, let's go get some dessert, guys. I have some pancakes, guys. <laughs> okay? So right now, I'm having just normal gamay ice cream and some really nice mountain Christmas tree looking whipped cream. <laughs> so, okay, so let's try. Okay. Mm. So I guess, like they told me, what stands out is that they use special flour from Japan and that really makes the pancake itself has a really nice bite to it. So right here, I have my matcha parfait. So usually in Malaysia or anywhere really, when you go to um, Japanese cafes and you get matcha ice cream or latte, they would usually make their ice cream and latte out of this thing called uji matcha, which is your basic matcha. In Kokoro Konse, we actually use this thing called yame matcha, which is the top grade matcha that can only be found in Kyushu Island. I'm just gonna tell you what's inside first before I start eating. There's actually red bean, red bean here, pretty obvious. There's some green matcha jelly here and some glutinous rice balls here. Okay, let's start off with the matcha itself. And if you guys can see, there's actually matcha powder right here. Okay. Okay, right away, I can tell you there is a difference between uji matcha and yame matcha because this is not so bitter and it's a lot more, what's the right word? It's a lot more sweet, lighter, mellower, you know? And this makes really good ice cream because who wants bitter ice cream, right? Mm hmm. 
So that is it guys. This is my food review for Kokoro Confe. If you're coming for food, there is a platter. If you're coming for desserts, there's parfait and pancakes. If you're coming to buy things, there's a convenience store. It's all in one guys. And might I add, the ambience here is really nice as well. It's kind of dim but well lit. And my beautiful friend right here, the cherry blossom sakura tree <laughs> with lanterns, it's beautiful here. So if you're looking for a nice meal to have with friends, if we're just coming to buy some stuff, do drop by. I really recommend this place, you know, even if you're not nearby, drive here because you won't regret it. So that's it for my review. I hope you guys enjoy.